Talk to us about this refocus, the, the, the fully self-driving cap capability. Why? Why leapfrog the sort of half versions we currently have? Well, that's what Apple does, right? They only enter new product categories when they're able to come out with the leapfrog product. You saw that with the original iPhone. You saw that with the iPad. You saw that with the Apple Watch. Now it's the car's turn, and they want to release something that really no one else has really been successfully able to nail, and that's what they're doing for this. That's how it's been described to me. They really want to create a car that's a hands-free experience. They're redesigning the interior and exterior around the idea of having a car with no wheels or pedals. Okay, as soon as next year, that's fast, that's, that, that, that is the regulation there, Mark? Oh, not next year, 20, 2025. Mm -hmm. 2025 is when they want to debut the car uh, as early as. Perhaps it's going to launch, actually hit the streets a few years after that, but their current target is 2025 for an actual announcement. And tell us what the driving force is from an executive perspective here. Who's putting this pedal to the metal to a certain extent? So the new person in charge, his name is Kevin Lynch. He was one of the major pioneers behind the Apple Watch. So he's the guy at Apple who has the experience launching from the beginning to the release, the last actual new product category mm. from Apple. And this is the person now in charge of the car. He's a software expert, a management uh, expert. He's not a car expert, he's not an autonomy expert, but they do have the right people under him that he's working with to really push this thing forward. And since he took that top job a few months ago, we really have seen this acceleration and this refocusing around somewhat of a level five car approach. I mean, Mark, how much market share inherently do they want to win? How ubiquitous do they want a car to become when they are clearly, you know, so successful in getting hands and the phone in our hands, the watches in our hands, the services? Yeah, but before really knowing what your market share is going to look like, how many sales you're going to have, how much money you're going to need to make, what you really need to do first in this car space is settle on a business model, right? There are a few approaches Apple can take. There's the individual ownership approach, which I ultimately expect Apple will have, but there's also the fleet approach, perhaps mm. developing a service similar to Waymo or Uber or Lyft, where you have self-driving taxis of sorts uh, rolling through city streets. So I think likely ownership, individual ownership is going to be the route because that is the Apple business model.